Hi, this is Manuel, Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November. Welcome to my next video. Um, this time I'm going to show you the latest improvements of my sandwich design. Um, I still owe you a how to, how to build it video, which is uh, coming soon. Uh, but I felt I, I needed to um, show you the benefits uh, of that uh, modification. I did here um, and the latest improvements so you remember this one this PCB uh, this was my first uh, monoband no sorry multiband class E PCB but it was using uh, the same class E circuit uh, that was um, that we were using from QCX time on um, it's known as parallel resonance class E circuit. Um, well, it has some disadvantages. It is only possible to get up to 80%, something like 82% efficiency. If you want more, you cannot get it with this design. Uh, also, the relays were hard to get. I, I saw that when people tried to build it and couldn't get the relays. And if they could get it, they were really expensive. Uh, about 18 bucks so anyway i thought i'd do something else and i started experimenting uh, with nm0s um, class e circuits which is serial resonance more the classical approach uh, as you can see i also exchanged the relays uh, for smaller ones just size comparison here really a huge difference uh, with this uh, topology you can get up to yeah 90 plus percent efficiency theory in theory up to 100 but you, you do not reach 100 percent but depending on the band uh, I'm between yeah like uh, 80 82 to at, at, on 20 meters I there's still room for improvement uh, at, up to 93 percent i think i measured at 80 meters um, and 60 meters over 90 at least uh, I, I do over 90 percent of efficiency that means over 90 percent of the energy you're putting in is going out as a radio frequency which is quite impressive the other benefit of that because it has a serial resonance uh, tuned circuit frequency dependent it also aids in uh, receiver selectivity so you do not get as much um, strong signals uh, if, if you have uh, strong signals nearby like uh, broadcast stations it won't affect the receiver uh, so much another beauty of that is per band you need only two toroids because one, one of them is the serial resonance coil and the other one is part of the pi network and this uh, uses a notch, a notching uh, filter um, for the first harmonic suppression. And from there, the second harmonic already is, uh, is uh, so far down that uh, the single pi filter is enough. Um, the disadvantage is, uh, and you compare it to this, we, we had... Uh, five bands but only three relays and only three low pass filters uh, for this one you need a tuned circuit for every band so i needed to have uh, five in in this case to to cover 80 to 20 meters i needed to have five uh, band units <laughs> um yeah you, you can say uh, you can see 30 meters 20 meters 40 60 80. Uh, still three uh, BS-170s, we are switching uh, via another GPIO expander uh, and they all share one common coil which in, in this topology you needed one coil, one um, drain inductor per band. Uh, all of these go over one drain inductor. So there's 
advantages and disadvantages, but still uh, this one is far more efficient. And yeah, it's, it's easier to build. Uh, parts are easier to get. In the last video I even showed you, um, <laughs> I presented my, my shopping list and how to buy it. Now, uh, there have not been only uh, improvements in hardware. By the way, I uh, changed the, the main board. I exchanged it to a four layer board, uh, which made it RF wise a little bit more stable, I would say. Um, just because I could, and uh, this is also a four layer board, just because uh, from from a RF designing perspective, it's it, it seemed a little bit better, even though I did not see much difference between two layer and four layer boards. I just did it because uh, they are cheap anyway. If you buy the PCBs from China, it's a difference between I think uh, yeah one one to two bucks per PCB. So whatever. The top layer is still two layer. Um, yeah, onboard microphone, everything as usual. This is unchanged. Okay, now since there also is uh, currently work on software in progress, which basically changed the behavior of the whole thing. I wanted to show you some some signals with it um, and, and the new behavior and the new filters Guido designed, which I really love this. This rig has grown up now and I'm going to show you uh, a few examples now. I will pause the video, we'll look for something to show you and then I will come back. Okay, here we have a CW signal. This is with a wide open 500 Hz setting. Now I'm going to narrow it down. You still hear... Uh, Hear the silence. The station in the background is slightly off filter. It's it's a really narrow filter he designed there, Guido. Here you can uh, hear the station. I tuned in. And see the, the noise that's going on in the background. Let's look for something else. Never mind, I'm uh, just to, to mention that I'm using practice mode. You can see that from the P, I'm not transmitting. Okay, next I'm going to show you some uh, SSB signals because it's not only about CW, uh, in my case it is, but uh, it's really great in SSB also. There, there have also been some really great improvements uh, recently. Give me a second, I will tune something in for you. My name is Roman. Uh, Delta Lima 2 Alpha Echo Q are in 4 Alpha Alpha, over. Oh, 
のえー、えー、そんなポルタンってフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチフンチョナチin action I think there has been really big improvements so far and work is still continuing this is uh, so far it's only experimental versions uh, we are using here um, but there is uh, a release to be expected very soon because Guido is working basically every day on it and I'm getting every day a new version to test uh, really crazy how fast things go right now okay um, just wanted to show you some some basics about this rig and and uh, how it's being set up in case you didn't see uh, my videos before uh, in order to um, exchange something I'm removing the bottom screws now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect it from the power source because otherwise you, you risk a damage. Now you can unplug the band module. And for example, if I wanted to put it on the old uh, multi-band board, I could just uh, put it in here. You need to be really careful about that and screw in the spacers again. For example, now uh, this thing would be a uh, classical multiband. Give me a second. And just because the question raises uh, very frequently, can this thing be modified for different bands than you have uh, chosen here on the multiband board? Yes, it can. There's still this monoband PCB, and as you can see, I built it here for like 17 meters. Uh, they are still usable. Just plug them in and tune to 17 meters and ready to go. Um, this contains a, a tuned monoband circuit for 17 meters, for example. Okay, ah, see, this, this happens when you're not careful. You, you really need to be careful. Okay, by the way, uh, this is my connection for programming, uh, the Atmega. Um, in case you didn't know or didn't see that. You can just unplug it. I, I have it in a socket, but um, since I'm doing that now on a very daily basis, actually uh, put on your software, I'm using the ISP. This is the main board, by the way. Yeah, all the components are are here. Wait a minute, I'm, I'm picking up some, some other boards. I'm showing you the stuff separately. Okay, so. Here we have the, the main board. Uh, by the way, this is a different version than the one I published because this FST switch is hard to get in that package. And in order for you to make it easier, I, I changed the package and uploaded uh, simply the files. Except for that, uh, this is all the same as you can build. Yeah, that's the main board, unchanged. That's the I.O. board, unchanged. And we have different versions of RF PCBs. You can just plug in there and change bands with that. Um, I'm, I'm using those monoband PCBs for experiments of all kinds. Like uh, next stuff I want to try is how high we can get up in frequency. And maybe I'm even redesigning this board or uh, providing another revision 
with more bands because you can see there's a lot of space still available. Uh, actually, this is a waste of space, but I tried those bands. Those are the classical bands I'm I'm working on, and yeah, maybe I will provide another version with uh, 17, 15, 12, 10 meters. Let's see what the future brings. Let's see how high we can get up. I, d I still do not know. Okay, um, so that's a, a brief overview again uh, about the current uh, project state. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you will build one. If you have questions, feel free to contact me and uh, visit also groups.io slash USDX. All the communication about this great little rig is going on there usually. See you. Bye-bye. 73. Good luck.